Oh, I've waited all week. <laughs> I've waited maybe all year for the Cowboys to be my Joker pick of the week. <laughs> Bums. Happy Tuesday. I mean, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Hi there. Who oh, there? Uh. Hey there. We uh, we were gonna record on Tuesday. I lied to you mm-hmm. and had a, two Christmas parties <laughs> right, to, right to my face. <laughs> I was like, I was in the shower Monday morning, and I was like, oh shit, I have another Christmas party tomorrow. Wow! And then I didn't go to my Christmas party on Monday, but we're still recording on on, a, <laughs> on Wednesday anyway. I had so. a chance to come, and I was like, it, nope, it's too late now. <laughs> we're totally just, like, I was sitting there, just you know, you know, once you're down. You're not getting back up. Mm, yeah. It yeah. was like, I was like 50 50 at best. So yeah. it, it worked out. Here we are on a Wednesday. Yeah. It, it, it did work out pretty well. Um, no football on the TV, no live TV, but that's okay. Right. Right. Smack dab in the middle. But it's that time. It's that time of the year. Yeah. Last week we got to uh, you know, our first game that we, I guess we can talk about, but uh, the first game we were already watching because we recorded last Thursday. Yeah. Which is weird. We delayed. I forget why. I had well, you had you had, a, you had a thing, and then I had yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, I couldn't, yep. and we did it on Thursday. Yeah. Yep. And we did watch it live. Uh, <coughs> it was an insane blowout. We talked about Staley having to be fired, and he was. <laughs> and not, there it is. Not only Staley, but also <coughs> the GM, who's been the GM for a while now, like since 20, early yeah. 2010s. Well, here's my thing. Hmm. <laughs> He's just so interested in it. My thing is, you knew Staley was going to get fired, and maybe the GM. Why do it with only, I mean, three games left? Like, what do you care? Yeah, I thought, I don't know. Maybe get let them jump start, get a jump start on the hiring search or the coaching search, excuse me. Maybe see who else is out there, like a Harbaugh. You know, maybe it's easier to get some feelers out there than having to wait till the end of the year. Mm-hmm. There's some names floating around yep. there. Yep. Harbaugh and Belichick, too. Belichick yeah. is, yeah. those are the top two names, at least for uh, oh, I would the Chargers. I would never. Just beat the Chargers. Like, yeah, they, they. It's funny. It's always like one of those teams. It's like, oh man, yeah. <laughs> look at they got they got some pieces. That's always a thing. Ever since Schottenheimer got fired at fourteen and two, um, and ever since then, it's just it's been one hiring disaster after another between North Turner, your boy, mm. um, Mike McCoy, who was it the last dude, um, Anthony Lynn, and now Staley. Oof. Why you do, uh, and like Herbert's your quarterback? Why? Why are you taking all these defensive coaches, you know? Um, I, I guess at this point you'd have to go. You would think that you would go offense, but. Yeah, that's my guess is at least the next one. So. Did he really get fired at 14-2? and two? Yeah. Jeez. Yep, it was after they lost to the Patriots in that divisional game. God. Yeah. He also got fired after taking Washington. <laughs> <laughs> he must be, I don't know, maybe he just <laughs> rubbed people the wrong way. And then North Turner came <laughs> in. I remember that very clearly because he was the offensive coordinator for the 49ers. Yeah. And he had Alex Smith give him a good sophomore season yeah and then they went 11 and 5 i think they lost like right they lost pretty quickly yeah um, that, that yeah. was uh that was a rough one yeah and the chargers have been <coughs> the chargers ever since that's just like the name of the game for them um <laughs> it's so funny how like we talked about this like how certain teams and washington's one of them but like they have the same identity with different yeah. players yeah. different coaches <laughs> yes. different gms yeah. but they still are who they yeah. are in a weird way yeah and even the chargers <coughs> are even the through different ownership different locations it's so strange it's just um, they are who they are yeah and the thing with the chargers i i just would never want to be second banana like they're second banana. not even second they're probably like third banana in la fourth if we're being completely honest it's you know a t- it's a that's a tough market like i don't even, yeah i mean there's already so many teams there um mm-hmm. it's just and usc has been better lately so it's i don't know the the, the owner has money i know that mm. but um, i think I'm thinking of Spanos. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, there wasn't much. I mean, that game when we were talking about in the last one, it was it was just a complete ass whooping. It was like yeah. forty two to nothing at half. Yeah. It was yep. it was like ridiculous. The, the one of the interesting things is that it was a uh, scoregami. It was a again. Sc- yeah. Wow. Yep. <clears throat> I guess that would make sense. I mean, not a lot of teams <laughs> <It> score sixty, <laughs> sixty three to like twenty one or something like that. I was like, oh, can you score maybe one more touchdown? Get seventy again. But then it's like, then the records start becoming like, not that cool. Like, how long did it take before the home run record was broken? Oh, thirty I something yeah. years, and then yeah. it was like every fucking yeah. year or so. It was right. getting from, six, broken. from sixty-one to ninety-eight, and then Sosa broke it like every year, and mm-hmm. then Bonds in about two thousand three. Well, then, then he broke it again. 
was then, it who won the the Maguire won the race right yeah with Sosa and then like a couple yeah. years later it was Bonds hit yeah. and I'm pretty sure Sosa hit over 61 like other the years after that too and then yeah 2003 I think Bonds hit 73 yeah so, so it's <laughs> so so stupid and then That's, it, it's turning and, into that and now. then it made more <laughs> th- and then Aaron Judge just broke the AL record last year of 61 which made makes more sense to me like yeah, yeah. but I don't know anywho well that was that game. Bum, bum and bum, but yep. you know, shout out to the Raiders. They they caught a win anyway. Yeah, um, I don't. I'm curious with Spike if they give him the, yeah, they give him the, the the interim coach. Oh, it, Pierce, Pierce. Oh, yeah, oh my God, I'm thinking of someone Spike. Oh, but that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny because they had this exact same situation. Was it right before McDaniel's where? Their interim coach won like three games, yeah, and then yeah, they, yeah, did, yeah. they didn't hire. I don't even know. I don't even know where he went, but yeah, they didn't. Give I him forgot the job. about that. Yeah, yeah, that happened too. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Fuck them bums. Moving on to Sunday for uh, Saturday. Sorry, yeah. dude, this is the first weekend. So this is of the Saturday games, and they were all on the network, which is kind of annoying mm-hmm. because um, we couldn't really. Not a lot of places had them. Couldn't yeah, watch it. we watched. Um, well, I watched the first one at home because I was in. So Merry Christmas, by the way. This is a Christmas episode. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. He came with his with his sweater, and I was like, "Wow, shit!" I wasn't even. Yeah. Prepared. Well, I was doing laundry before this, and I thought, "Oh my gosh, it's clean because we just wore it Saturday." I was like, "I'm gonna wear that." Um, and this these games were so yeah. So I couldn't make it to the beginning of that of the crawl. So I watched the first game at home. Um, and then the other two were kind of just we kind of saw them on the TV and I try I'd watch as much as I could but well, that's true yeah. the, the late game I was sort of yes. paying attention to because I had a stake in mm-hmm. that for fantasy implications Oof, fantasy man it's gonna be a gonna yeah be a that's gonna be a sad corner <laughs> <laughs> but, some sad some happy um the big thing in the Bengals game is Chase got hurt Jamar Chase yep. uh, AC joint I think so he's <clears> out <throat> at least one week maybe more um, and they pulled it out though. I mean, it was looking a little yeah. dicey, but I yeah, mean, the game started slow, but got better as it went on. Browning three twenty four, two touchdowns, one pick. I mean, I, I listen. Once Burrow went down, I counted those boys yeah, out. I said out, they yeah. are done, 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 and they're eight and six. I don't know where they're sitting right now, playoff wise. You know what's funny? Before, so with with I had the NFL playoff up, and I was like, <laughs> I, I got to keep that up because it's gonna come up. I know we got and, 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 cl- and then I closed the tab <laughs> and it's not there. I'm so sorry. I, sh- I meant to have that up and running. It's okay. Uh, and then, of course, I think I mentioned this last week. It takes really long to load, and I, I don't know why. Uh, it could be my shoddy I'm Wi-Fi. Gonna, gonna Although nobody, uh, nobody's doing uh, laundry right now, so <laughs> we, can, we, can, <laughs> we can not have to deal with that oh, right now. This, this uh, I'm looking at the playoff picture. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah, NFL standings playoff picture. It's finally standings. loading yeah, we should very have. slowly. They are. Mm-hmm. They're in the sixth seed. Okay. So they, so have a, they have a spot. The Colts they're would in be in seven. The Texans are. The Texans and Bills are respectively eight and nine with a. In the eight and nine seed with an eight and six record. So yep. right now your your teams are Baltimore, Miami, Kansas City, Jacksonville, Cleveland, Cincinnati, and the Gardner Minshew Colts. Yeah, um, a lot. It's so wild. I mean, the Bengals jumped up four spots. It's so funny whenever you you see this weekend and we get like we just saw the Packers on the TV, mm. and it's like every time these these teams all control their own destiny and then they inevitably just lay an egg. You know, too much pressure. Yeah, like the but Steelers, again, the Broncos. Et cetera, et cetera. And, and there's other games that this will come up, but we've been saying it for a while. The year of the backup quarterback. It is. I was just thinking, I was like, the Bengals have backup quarterback, the Colts, the Browns, three teams in the playoffs right now in the AFC all have backup quarterbacks. And then if you look at the only one in the NFC is playing a backup quarterback. Which is funny because, uh, well, I guess if you're looking to, like, the Bills know Pittsburgh's been playing Trubisky. Mm-hmm. Uh Broncos, they still got Russ. Yeah, but most, it's funny because most of them are out. Like, even, I guess you could count New England as playing a backup because yeah, they true. benched Mac. Yeah, the Saints. The Jets have gone in and out of yep. of their starters, the Titans. Yep. So, Rear- really, you only have, like, how many teams How many teams have started only one quarterback this year? Um, have the Ravens only started Jackson? I believe so, yeah. Them, the Dolphins, the Chiefs, the Jags, although... 
he did get hurt, but he came, yeah. he played again. Um, Texans have played a backup. Bills have played their quarterback. That's why the Bills being in the sad in the ninth <laughs> yeah. seed is so sad for them. <laughs> yeah. The Broncos, yeah, so yeah, it's like it's it's been bad. It's like it's half, been, yeah. it's, been, it's been real bad. I mean, and it, the, the the quarterback has been a problem in general around the league, and yeah. this has just made it worse. Yes, I agree. Mm-hmm. So that was that game anyway. I, I think we both picked uh, the Bengals. You, did you pick? Did you pick the Vikings? Um, I picked the Bengals. Mm-hmm. I said mm-hmm. I said I would be upset with Joe if the Vikings win. And they almost trying, did. Yeah, I know you're trying to talk me out of it. <sighs> uh, but no, I, I made it. I made the right call on that one. <laughs> I went nine and seven for the whole week overall. I think I'm at ten and six. Um, Eagles. We'll get to the Joker pick, but that was a maybe my second flop of the Joker pick Uh this year. Mm. Um, Colts over the Steelers. Again, we've been talking about them being fakers. They started Trubisky again. I actually don't know when Pickett is coming back or due to not this week. He's out again. Yeah, and but Mitch has also been benched. So Mason Crosby. <laughs> they still have um they still have Mason on their yeah, team. Yeah, well, I, I wondered what happened to him because they picked <laughs> up Trubisky. Yeah. No, he's playing. What he's the heck playing. is his name? What the heck is his name? Mason Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah. yeah. But they've had he he's, What a name. They playing. I know. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mason Rudolph. Uh I, yeah, I forgot about him. Once they picked up Mitch, um Yeah. People but, weren't thought maybe he might be that quarterback of the future. He did get a chance. He did, but he, who? he Rudolph, yeah. Before Pickett came in, but he did not, he did not do so well. He did not guide that sleigh. If you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, again, I think Mitch getting signed by a team and getting a few starts. It, it's not like the Steelers were like bad, where he was like stepping in for Carolina, where like yeah. hey, I already have nobody. We have one win. Yeah, he's he's a good backup. We could spot start. Um, but I don't think he he hasn't been so playing. Bad. He hasn't been playing good. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like he stepped in for a team that that the Steelers aren't terrible. They're not the Panthers. So for him to go in and, and also play like shit for a few weeks, yeah. it's like uh, maybe the Ravens. And they were like counting on him. To, you know, they're in a playoff spot, and if he won a couple, they could could have pulled it out. And he played like poop. So that's unfortunate. He was also very they, high in that draft. Yeah, he went before. He'll always be remembered as a guy that was taken before Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. <sighs> and I'm pretty sure they traded up for him. If I remember correctly, yeah. Yep. Rough. Um, real rough. Uh, but the, also, you know, I think he's going to get a lot of flack, Mitch, but that team just wasn't good even before he got there. I'm, uh, not, I'm not convinced. They, the Steelers, I'm not convinced they'd be in that position even if Pickett never got hurt. No, no that's fair. I, I don't think that they, I think that them being seven and seven is exactly how they are. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yep. They're, they're trying to keep that 500, over 500 streak alive because I don't think they've ever finished under their 500 with. Tom, Tom yeah. and he's already in year seventeen. That's why. That's, but that's he's really like yesterday. His name keeps coming up on the chopping block too to move I, on yeah. from. So it's yeah. like Belichick and Tomlin. Those are two yeah. big names that have been there for a long time that they're talking so about like moving get, on from. You have one. I mean, I know he's won. He hasn't won a playoff game in a while, but he's won a Super Bowl. He's gone to a second. I don't know. But it's, it, it could be like with you know how some Patriots fans feel like yeah. just I just want to I just want to start over. Sometimes it's just time to move on. Like Andy Reid with the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Like he's still a really good coach, but yeah. it was just time to move on. Is he I mean, how many coaches have although he didn't win in Philly, so I guess no, no, just, no team has no coach has won with two teams. Outside of a championship before like a, the Yeah, Super like a Super Bowl, Bowl era coach. I was going to say him, but he didn't win with Philly. No. Parcells so. went with two different teams. Um, You're right, and so did Reed. So, yeah, so did Reed. Yep, he, he won with one. So I don't I don't think that that... I think you had mentioned that a few weeks ago. So uh-huh. I think that that is that is true. Yeah. I don't think to, that's happened. I don't... I think you're right. I'm trying to I think you're right, because you brought it up. <laughs> but no, <laughs> because I was going to say he was the only one, but he didn't win with Philly. Yeah. So I don't think that... <laughs> yeah, I can't even, I, the only one I can think of that's gone to two with two different teams is Parcells and Reed. Obviously, you just said that. Um, yeah, as a head coach, yeah, um, Ver, as a Vermeil, he won with the the Rams. You're right? Did he win with? No, he didn't win with the Eagles. No, no, because the Eagles didn't any win. Any coach ever? Won and if the if. If it comes back that there was, don't say it. Okay. But just let me know if there was, because then right. I want to. I want to maybe guess. Okay. 
That not um, not a championship, a Super Bowl. Right, right, right. Yeah, not yeah, Super Bowl era, not not Providence Steamroller era. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. No, it is not. Okay, no coach has ever right. won here. Uh, it's never happened. So Shula, Pars- which one of them? Another guess. Parcells, Dick Vermeil, which we mentioned. Mike yeah. Holmgren, well, Seahawks. That's Seahawks, right. Seahawks, yeah. And Andy, Andy Reid yeah. won a Super Bowl in with one team and lost the Super Bowl with another. Dan Reeves of Falcons fame lost Super Bowls with two different in the Broncos lost Super Bowl with two teams. So yeah, we nick we named most of them. We missed Shula, which I feel like was an obvious one. Yeah. And we missed Holmgren, which I had totally forgotten about the Seahawks and Super Bowl extra large. So McCarthy won with Green Bay though, right? He did. So is there a yeah, chance? There is a chance. Psych. After this week's game, after <laughs> <laughs> We no, haven't even got, no, we haven't even gotten to that game yet. I, know, I can't wait. Oh, man. I, can't wait. I was so mad. I'm so... I mean, maybe you look like an idiot. <laughs> you, look, you may look like an idiot in front of all my friends. How dare you? All right. Well, let's wrap up Saturday before we dive into the, <laughs> the Cowboys yes, debacle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Broncos and Lions. So I had uh, 42 to 17. I had huge... huge Huge fantasy uh, playoff implications on this one because the person I was playing had Stroud, who was out. Mm-hmm. So they had to pick somebody up. They picked up Goff, had five touchdowns. <laughs> and I, I had Russ and, and yeah. Will Levi Jean. So I just yep. started Russ. And it was a, I, yeah, I knew. I was like, oh, this is over. I mean, I went, I mean, not even, fa- so fantasy was a beautiful day for me because I had Laporta. Tight end, rookie extraordinaire, uh-huh. uh, who had three touchdowns, Oof. and freaking. So I needed help because the team I was playing. It was funny. So we actually, the team I played. This is my money league. We played each other the week before, and they beat me soundly because yeah. uh, Herbert got hurt. Someone else got hurt. Oh, Chase left early, but they also had a really good game. Yep. And I needed. You know, I was like, oh crap, we're playing each other again. Don't. But and I lost home court advantage, or home field advantage. Oh yeah, no, yeah. in the fan playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Laporte, and they're, they had Addison, who got like 20-something points, yep. and then Laporta matched them literally point for point, 21.6 exactly. Wow. So, like, woo, I felt a lot better after that one. Um, but thankfully, it that one worked out for me. Unfortunately, I picked the Broncos for, like, the first time this year. Hey, um, I, yep. That was the one where I was going to surprise you. Right. By picking yes. the Broncos, and you picked the Broncos, yeah. and I said, "Fuck it, I'm just going to pick." <laughs> yeah, the yeah that, that's the difference between the ten and six and nine and seven. Yeah, that that I was went, it. They, they that if I, I had spoken first, yeah. <laughs> the roles would have been reversed. I was like, "Wait," I was like, oh, "I'm going to get them on yeah. this one." So I I blew that one, and that was my team, the Lions, and they all of a sudden, I mean, the Broncos, are the Broncos, and now they, this is why the NFL is such a funny league. Mm. Like a team looks dead in the water, and you're like, "I'm done picking them," and then yeah. they blow a team out. Like God, and a, and a team that was looked, looking good that they were looking good, and they're, like they're fighting for a spot. And uh, but it's it's crazy. The Lions ten and four. Yeah, I like it though. I do I like, like it. Yeah. it. It's it's nice to see them actually have a good There's, season. You know, if we ever do a trivia on this show, one of the trivia is a question: be like, name the teams that haven't won a Super Bowl, and they're definitely one of them. They are one of or, them. Or even been to a Super Bowl. Well, they also said them winning the the division. Sorry, it would be the first time in thirty years or something. Wow, I think it's something yeah. crazy like I'm that. Sure. They've won yeah. the division. Yeah, Matt Stafford only went like he was on the road for his two playoff games with them. I don't think he's ever played a home playoff game, so that'll be a nuts game. Hopefully, I, this one not in Peacock. I think it was. God, I could be wrong, but it could be when they went to the. Uh, I think they went to the championship game against Washington. Oh, the year Washington had the greatest team of all time. Ninety one, ninety two. That's the one. Yeah. Greatest team of all time. <laughs> but I think it's been like they said, I think it's 20 or 30. If It, it might have been that when it was 30 yeah. years, which yeah. is crazy. So good for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, um, Broncos were surging. Excuse me. Lions looked dead in the water. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Yep. On to Sunday. Those were your three Saturday games. On yeah. to Sunday, the Browns over the Bears, 20 to 17. I picked the Bears, but you know what? That uh, Joe Flacco Express. Doesn't matter. And three that, three interceptions didn't matter. Yep, and that is why I picked um, <laughs> the Browns in that game. And I talked about this th- those fantasy implications last week. How Herbert got hurt. Yep. Um, I played Stafford in the Cheese League. Shout out Cheese. We'll get to that later. Mm-hmm. Um, and I played Joe Elite Flacco in the Browns game. Oh, and, that's right. Yeah, and he started with like <laughs> it was like <laughs> halfway through the game, and it was like he had like two points. <laughs> I was like shit. Yeah. But you know what? Like the like the elites before him. <laughs> 
he just kept <laughs> rope, slinging it and slinging it and slinging it, and it didn't matter, and he brought them back for a victory. He knew the whole time. Yeah, because yeah. they were down, what, 17 to 7 going yeah. into that fourth, and, you know, hey, 374, two touchdowns, three picks, and I remember, like, towards the end of Flacco's run – uh, with the Ravens and then with the uh, with the Jets, I was like, "He's a bum. Mm-hmm. He's a bum. Mm-hmm. Fuck him. He's a bum." Then he comes back, mm-hmm. and now it's like that underdog. Like yeah. it's weird how you flip on people. Like mm-hmm. somebody you not that I rooted against him. I just right. didn't think he was very good. Yeah. Then he comes back, and I'm like, "Oh, go Joe, <laughs> go Joe. Come on, Super Bowl MVP, and probably one of the best." Go look back at his, that 2000, I think 20, was it 2015? Look at that playoff stretch run he had. It was probably the best playoff in run. In contract, any, yeah. Yes, yes. Made himself so much money. Best <laughs> best, play, best playoff bell to bell you'll ever see. Yeah, that dude was freaking dropping dimes in that, that um yeah, that playoff run. It, it was one of those weird things, though, because, you know, he, he wasn't like a... Uh, he wasn't like a star. He wasn't a Brady, a, a Manning, a Roethlisberger. He wasn't a star. Yeah. But he won them a Super Bowl in a contract year. Yeah. But even before that, he wasn't like, it was between, who was it? It was Flacco and, uh, was it Matt Ryan that had like a similar, like the yeah. same yes. year or something? Yeah. yeah. It was like where they're going to go. And, and Matt Ryan, obviously, like, it, you know, fantasy wise, he always put up a lot of yards and yeah. he, had, he had weapons and stuff. Yeah, that like, one year, yeah. But then Flacco was like kind of like the sub part. But then he he went off and won the Super yeah. Bowl in his contract year, which is fucking amazing. It is it amazing. Made, it made him so it, much money. The year before that, they played the Patriots in the AFC Championship game, and they had a chance to tie the game at the very very end with a, like a thirty five yard field goal, and the kicker just shanked it. Yeah, and that game should have went to overtime. That Ravens team could have beat them easily. Mm-hmm. Um, and Joe Flack and people when people were talking about Mac in the off season, I'm like the radio Patriots radio show I listen to. They always talk about like, oh, what do you look for in Mac Jones? What are you looking like? What do you want him to be? Like he's not going to be Tom Brady. He's not going to be this. Like what do you yeah, yeah. like? In my head, all, and I never I should have called in and said it. And I probably will this off season. Like I just wanted a Joe Flacco. Just give me a Joe Flacco game manager. Yeah, like just but, like, can do it. He was the only mm. player in NFL history, any only quarterback in NFL history to go to five, like get drafted and go to five straight playoffs. Like he went to the playoffs wow. every single year, and then in that yeah. last year, <laughs> won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um. So like that's what like I'll take consistent success, right? A few division titles, and then a freaking Super Bowl. That's like an Alex Smith type thing, yeah. and, and like no no shot at him. But even when when he played in Washington, it was like oh he doesn't turn the ball over. You're right, he doesn't. You know my beef was we weren't scoring points, but yeah. again like he's not going to lose you the game, right? right. In San Francisco and Kansas City, he, yeah. and even Washington, the short stint, like he's not going to lose you. Yeah. the game. Yep. He's a game, mean, game manager. That's kind of what you need. Yeah, and the difference between, it's, it's funny you see that with like Alex Smith at the Chiefs, and then they go to Mahomes. And he's like you see the difference like between like that, like yeah, he'll get you there, but can he get you over the hump? You saw it kind of cut with it's Colin like, Kaepernick too a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Although, yep. although. Alex Smith, if he didn't get hurt that year, who knows what could have happened. But that, again, that's the NFL. That's right. That's go right. Joe. Go Joe. He also showed up on the pra- on the injury report this week with a, an injured calf. So we'll see what Shit. happens. Well, you know. I need him for next week. My team is decimated. We'll get to it in the fancy corner. Uh, and the Tampa Bakers, that's what we were just watching, mm-hmm. the Tampa Bakers over the, over the Packers. Uh, thirty-four to twenty. Big uh, again, fighting for a playoff spot. So I picked the Packers. Yeah, but this is probably my favorite game of the week. Seeing what happened here, this is like incredible because we've we've been ragging on Baker a little bit. I, hey, a, but again, he has weapons. It's like yeah. that team is not much different, and not not that they did great in, last year with Brady, but like, excuse me, they have weapons to where that's he, a guy like him, mm-hmm. uh, like other quarterbacks, but like Baker needed to be on a team that he can have people to throw the ball to. Uh-huh. He's got weapons. Like you guys should be a little bit better than seven and seven, but. Yeah, Rashid White, the running back, is putting up, and I have him in fantasy. Go keep going back to fantasy. He's having a pretty, he's having a good year. Yeah, he's having a solid year, a quietly a good year, um, putting up some good numbers for me certainly. It always helps when you have a good running game. Um, my fun fact about this game is that Baker Mayfield had a perfect passer rating, one fifty eight point three. Wow! In um, Lambo, Aaron Rodgers in his entire career with the Packers had one. Wow. Game with a perfect pass rate. So basically what you're saying is yes, Baker is (laughs) as good, if not better, Better, because that's a road game for Baker. So really, like, if you factor in the the road game, Baker Mayfield is a better quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. Quote me on that. That's going to be the the title. 
Perfect. <laughs> yeah, nothing else. Just that. <laughs> Baker Mayfield is a better quarterback <laughs> than Aaron Rodgers. Uh, but, but again, I, he's got Godwin, who had a good game. He's got Mike Evans. Yeah. They are in the lead, right, of that yeah, yeah, division? They sure now. are. They sure are. By a full game now? Um, That's a stretch. Sorry. No. No, not, it's but I think it's head-to-head. But the Saints are right. They're, they're at their heels. They are. Yep. Um, the Falcons are blowing it. Yeah, that's who blew it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. But the Saints won, so that's... But yeah, the, and you know what? Watching the highlights too, I don't not like Jordan Love. Uh, the Packers are six and eight, but again, we've talked about this too. They weren't that good last year. It was really because Rodgers is that good that they even had a shot at the end. The Packers weren't a good team yeah. last year either. Yeah, and, it, and his numbers are looking very. Uh, I say it every week. Similar. It's his first year starting. It's mm-hmm. like your boy Howell. You, mm-hmm. you know, give the guy a full year under his belt. See what happens next year. That's right. Kind of what they're playing for. Um, although. They look like they're, and again, this is why people love the NFL. The Packers are coming on, coming on, like, oh, man, yeah, hot take yeah. was they're going to win the division, and then look what happens. <laughs> so it's like, hey, you know, that's why hot takes are, hot, are called hot takes, they're not cold takes. You know, you get a... You get a <laughs> Every now and then they're mild. <laughs> Every now but, and then. you know, they're yeah. never cold. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. Yep, it is what it is. Uh, my Joker pick... Last week was my beloved uh, Houston Texans. Yeah. Uh, I just because Stroud was out, I didn't actually. I probably didn't realize that Case Keenum was the backup unless we talked about it, and I completely forgot. Mm-hmm. I don't think that would have changed my opinion. Another solid veteran uh, backup. But again, you need like when he was starting. You know, the guy started for Washington. Him and thirty five other people in twenty years. <laughs> but like you know, you want a playoff game with the Vikings. I just I, yeah right. I don't think he's a starter, but he's no. a good backup. He came in. It wasn't a great game. Yeah. It was a little ugly, but they won, and it, they needed to win. It was funny. I remember they played. So the Patriots played the Texans in the the preseason, in like you know the fourth quarter when all the the fourth stringers were in. Case Keenum was playing quarterback for the Texans. It was like that's not even fair. <laughs> like it's like it's like a ten year veteran playing against you know mm-hmm. twenty year old kids trying to make the team. It's pretty funny, but yeah, he he did enough certainly. Um, nice yard, nice fifty four yard field goal to to seal it. Uh, Will Levi, I don't know what's going on, man, but hey. my. Uh, Fantasy playoff opponent had both Hopkins and Derrick Henry. And yep. they both had a shitty game. So there you go. Good on you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I got really nothing much from this game. It was just like a, a, a pretty easy ass whooping for the <laughs> Dolphins, which is what they do. They beat up on bums. Yeah. 30 to nothing. Uh, Zach got hurt. Concussion. Yep. I think he's out this week. I think so, yeah. And this sealed my fate in Cheese's League, unfortunately. Um, who did? Who? Uh, Greg the Leg, the kicker. Oh, <laughs> zero. Goose boomer, egg. Yeah, boomer bust. Nothing. Boomer bust. He had 80 points. He had six, <laughs> he had six points two weeks in, over two weeks. <laughs> Excuse me. 80 points last week. Zero. And I think yeah. I think I didn't play Mostert, which I was because I thought our camp, the other running back was back, but it didn't mm-hmm. matter that he got freaking crushed it but it wasn't what it would be a matter if i played him anyway but i was going for boomer bust i was the six seed i was yeah. i was the the underdog didn't happen yeah shout out baloney ponies <laughs> yeah I, I got i got bounced of so jared goff sealed my fate in that right. one but uh yep. everybody had a big game really it seemed the waddle had a big game to a play good it's like they're 30 to nothing they yeah played the Jets, they, Jets i mean bums. they are it was a good recovery from what happened to them week before against the titans uh like i said that could have been a career yeah. like season defining game well, and, you just need to play a bum the next yeah, week and yeah. you're good. That's a, if they played the Bills, they might have been in trouble. Uh, yes. Yeah, but, yeah. And on to your your uh, we don't we don't skip these anymore. No, we just go right through no, them. If they were still in playoff contention, maybe. Um, but they're not. <laughs> uh, there's really not much to say about these games. Uh, Chiefs beat Patriots 27-17 to thrill Taylor Swift. Swifties in the crowd. That's how, that's where we're at. What did it say? It says on the ESPN right there. Just read it. Do you what it says? Yeah, just like, I'm, Chiefs beat Patriots. Oh, I see it. I yeah. see it. And uh, to thrill Taylor Swift, Swifties, and that's where we're at. That's it's, where we're at. It is. Yeah, that's just a that's a bummer. Yeah, all around. there was a good number of red in the, in the stands. Uh, it was unfortunate. It was really it was whatever. Uh, you know, that's that's because uh, they they also who was telling me that it was um, they they called it Taylor gating. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Know. I'm embarrassed. I know that. Foxborough was her first stadium show, so maybe holds a special place in her heart. I don't know. Don't really care. <laughs> the problem, my my main issue with this game is 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 we were about so, and I, and I don't know. 
put my tinfoil hat on. This is the game following the dr- dr- dramatics of last week with the referees. Yeah. And I was yes. like, the Chiefs yeah. aren't home, but they're going to get some home cooking in this game. And boy, howdy, did they get some home cooking. Yeah. Um, so those, but the Patriots were leading in this game. Well, that's the Chiefs, they won by 10. Yeah. Maybe it was a garbage touchdown at the end. They didn't look that good. No, no. There was We had the lead in the game. And um, I can't remember if it was in the red zone, but I don't think, no, the Chiefs were, I think, either driving for a touchdown or in the red zone. And he, and he threw an interception. Yeah. And the, yeah. And I think it was in their, their, because we brought it back close to the end zone. We could have taken like a two possession game lead. Yeah. And they called a bogus holding. And even, uh, I think Daryl Johnson, shout out Daryl Johnson, was the yeah. announcer. He was not livid, but he's like, that was a bad call. Yeah. It was a bad call. They're like, they're trying to, they're trying to save. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> later on, they fumble it, the Chiefs fumble it in the red zone holding. Another bold, bogus, bogus call. Yeah. Um, so, and it was, it was real. It was the, the momentum just completely shift because we went from having the ball in there, very deep in their side of the field, to them <coughs> going on to score a touchdown. So the whole yeah. momentum shifted, and you like felt it with that play, just like it was whatever. But the team's out of it. Trent Brown is saying our left tackle is saying shenanigans online about um, giving it what's his name a chance to play Malik. Um, it's JC Jackson is getting shut down. Isn't Malik? Uh, He's with the Ravens. The now. Ravens. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh, maybe we'll give him some more people who understand his abilities. Um, JC Jackson's having mental health issues. I hope he gets the help he needs, but he's been shut down for the season. Yeah. Um, everyone's just getting hurt left, right, and center. Uh, it's just, God, just give me something. For uh, yeah. Pain. It's just, it's, yeah. You just, <clears throat> at this point, you're just waiting for it to be over. I think with playoff implications, though, the the Chiefs, man, I'd be a little bit. I mean, they have the experience going into the playoffs, so you you, you can't like discount that. Yep. But they they're looking a little a uh, little suspect. Yeah, I'm I'm not buying them at all. I might yeah I might even pick against them in the playoffs when they get there. We'll see. Um, probably honestly, because they're gonna have to go on the road, and it's and they I don't think I don't think he's I don't think Mahomes has ever played a playoff game on the road. And Kelsey didn't look very good in this game. Um, Rice is a good wide receiver. I, I've shouted him out before on this on this here show, so they may have found something there. Yeah, but the rest of them are all kind of trash, trash, trash. Um, yeah, yeah, really. A lot not of much. a lot of distractions in in Kansas City. Lots and lots and lots. Just, lots just of saying, just yep. saying that. Yep. This keeps us in the two spot for the <clears> draft. <throat> um, we haven't talked about Carolina yet, but. You, we you have gained. We? You, no. No. But you gained a game. Yeah, and our strength of schedule now matches. So there's a shot. It, but if we just didn't win, if we just, I mean, I don't, <coughs> again, I would never root for a loss, but now it's like, oh, man, do we have to beat the Steelers? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're there, right in the thick of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're, we are almost, depending on what Washington does, we are pretty much locked in for that, hopefully locked in for a top three pick. Definitely top five. Yeah, it seems likely uh, there's like the, a, Percentage breakdown like Washington has like an eighty three percent chance of okay. making a top three pick. Oh. Who knows? Anything can fucking happen. <laughs> yeah, but right. yeah, I, yep. yeah, I would imagine that it's going to be top four, top five anyway. Yeah. Uh, Saints and the New York, uh, Danny Tommy Devitos. Yeah, I, yeah. I picked the Saints to win, but the Giants to cover, and the Giants did not. And Devito, he lost it. He blew it. <laughs> Bought into the hype. Was going for the fun, fun one, and uh, <coughs> nope. Yeah, I, I think I picked I picked the Saints in that one too. Yeah. I, I didn't have much faith, and then you know, then we had Pizza Gate Part Two <laughs> <laughs> with Tommy Devito in the pizza the pizza <laughs> shop. <clears throat> I heard that he fired his uh, agent after that happened. Well, I mean. I, again, <clears throat> excuse me. The the guy seemed like an asshole because mm-hmm. what happened? Well, I don't know if you, I you saw know. It, they, yeah. yeah, he was supposed to do a signing. It was like two hundred fifty autographs for, and his appearance was like ten thousand yep. dollars. And then all of a sudden, it was like there wasn't a contract in place, but obviously there was a verbal agreement sure. that went from ten to twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the pizza shop was like, "We don't have that kind of money." Yeah, we had you know we had a preliminary agreement for ten thousand, and then he he ended up going for free. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Yeah, he went for free. Oh. He did the whole thing for free. That that that's I think look. today or, or yesterday. But if he fired his agent, yeah, is that what? The, that's what I heard. I, I can't confirm because the guy came out and was like, "Well, uh, he shouldn't. the The pizza shop shouldn't have used his name without a contract in place." And it was like, "Well, they were. I think they were selling tickets or something yeah, to I mean, get him to go. Get as many people in there a couple of days ahead of time. Yeah, I got so it. they're like, oh, they." Um, they released the text messages, right? Yeah, they jacked yeah. up the rate for his appearance fee, and then his yep. agent was like, well, we never had a contract. I was like, well, if you have a preliminary 
Yeah. A verbal agreement. Yeah. And you've got two you, things in this world, right? Exactly. <laughs> and we we're not going to say it. <laughs> exactly. Go watch the movie. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, but it's, it's true. It's like, come on. Like, come on here. But I, it's a, it's know, a local pizza shop. It's not freaking like. And good on good on Tommy because I think it was a bad look in the press, but he ended yeah. up doing it for free. Cool. So good, good on, on him. him. Good on him. Uh, I didn't realize his agent actually he has other NFL players like Alfred Morris. Shout out Redskins oh, yeah. legend Alfred Morris. That was one of his Whoosh. dudes. Um, that was one of his uh, clients. EJ Manuel. Is that his name? Or EJ Perry, who just signed uh, the practice squad for someone else somewhere. I just saw his name pop up. It was the Patriots. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's one of his one of his guys. <laughs> so, hmm. at least he still has those. But Devito is gonna probably. I don't know. He'll get paid somewhere probably for a backup job. But hey, uh, yeah. that's good on him. I didn't realize he went for free. That's cool. Yeah. Um, imagine though, like <clears throat> imagine just getting paid just to show up somewhere. I, th- I think I'd feel uncomfortable. I'd be fine with it. How much? Ten thousand dollars to show up for two hours. People buy your I, yeah, but I I would feel like it depends on what it is and like uh, like. It's Free different. Pizza. He's a, he plays in the NFL. Like I would just feel like a fraud. Like yeah, what the fuck. Do you I want? still feel like a fraud. Imposter syndrome. <laughs> yeah, you like know, it's a real thing. <laughs> like what the fuck do you want me yeah. here for? Like you're asking me this? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh god, it's funny. Um, speaking of the uh, Carolina Panthers, this is the game. Yeah, there it they, is. They pulled one out. Uh, yeah. Ritter is. I don't know if he got benched in this game, but he's getting he benched. He is. Yeah, they're turning. <laughs> This is, they're doing the Washington thing. Heineke in, Heineke out. Yeah. Heineke in, Heineke out. So now he's starting next week. So I did pick up Heineke in fantasy in my money league in case Flacco can't go. I'm throwing in Heineke. Hey. Just because he's got the weapons. Yeah. You know, something. He, every once in a while, he can pull something out. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, Bryce Young, man, he, his numbers are so sad. <laughs> like 167 yards. This, this whole <laughs> stat line was 167 <laughs> yards. That's it. Um, they no got the picks. win. They got the win. Um, John o. Smith, two receptions. Yeah, again, they, the Falcons have so many weapons. Why are they scoring seven points? Why is Arthur Smith still there? Why he's, isn't he fired? I don't know. He's going to get fired. It, again, it's the same thing with this, the Staley thing. It's like, why do it now? I mean, again, you maybe you want to get a head start. It yeah. seems like the writing's on the wall. I yeah. think he's gone after this year. I agree. That's it, really. There's not much more yeah, to talk about a nine to seven game. Pre- yeah, pretty boring. Um, I'm glad the Pan- go shout out Panthers for pulling it out because um, it helps me and you. Yeah, it does. Well, and speaking of which, Ugh. Um, Ugh. yeah, we had some we had some garbage points towards the end when Jacoby mm-hmm. came in. Uh, I'm in the same boat. I mean, we're four and ten. Sam had a rough game. He got pulled, and then that was oh, like the no. big thing. I didn't realize that. Yeah, he got pulled. <laughs> um, they had Jacoby go in. Jacoby scored a touchdown on, on like probably the first drive. Mop up duty. It's like you know yeah. what you, you know what you're getting with Jacoby. Like you know. Yeah. There's the, like with Sam <clears throat> with Sam. There's potential there. Jacoby, what you see is what you get. He's a backup, and that's yeah. fine. And that's he came in, and and they got some garbage points. Terry, uh, finally, this is Terry's first game over a hundred yards, which is absolutely ridiculous, mm-hmm. but. Six catches, one forty-one, and a touchdown. I I don't know. I'm just the secondary. Of course, it's like one to two, maybe three plays a game where yeah, a receiver is wide open. Cooper Cup was yeah, wide, I saw the a ago. wide open, and it just <laughs> every game this year. There's been a blown coverage or a blown assignment. Yeah. It it's just it's easy. Points. I, I'm in the same boat. Four and ten. They they're fucking terrible. Yeah. There's a lot of running backs getting a lot of carries here. So William for the Rams got 27 carries. Chubba, yeah. Hub- Chubba Hubbard got 22. Yeah. Um, looking at other games here, we had uh, Singletary for the Texans getting 26 carries. Holy smokes! Yeah. So it's like these these bell cow running backs are making a comeback. Well, it's like if you have an offense that can spread the ball around, it yeah. opens up your running game because sometimes it's like the run establishes the pass, and then sometimes it's like the pass mm. opens up your run True. game. Yeah, they don't stack the box so much. Right. Um, one of the things I read that's interesting recently is that one of the things that the league has gone to is like the smaller, faster linebacker. So what's happening now is you're starting to see some bigger running backs who can plow over those dudes. So yeah, yeah. we'll see how that continues. To, those are things that happen over years. Sure. So we'll see how that continues to ride. Um, that's unfortunate that Sam got hurt. Hopefully he doesn't pull. Hopefully he doesn't mess up his confidence. Um, but Rivera's gone anyway, so not like it really matters. Yeah, I I, I really like um I can't wait to restart again. <laughs> <laughs> but at least now it's like there's hope because there's a new owner. It's yeah, like all right, yes. we have to start over again, but like 
now they're they're likely going to get a GM first. Yep. Then a coach and Maybe then coordinators. The owner will put more money into the team. We'll hopefully, some of those <clears throat> NFLPA grades will go up. Yeah. Better facilities. Better oh yeah, yeah. Stadium ideas, stuff like that. Um, yeah. We have a ton of cap space. We're going to have a top five pick. You have a young quarterback you can build around if you want. You have a stud uh, receiver. Mm-hmm. Your defense is is trash. But you think so. Here's my question. This would be interesting because you bring your new GM in, mm. you bring a new coach in. Mm. You think they go quarterback? Like I want to start my regime with this guy. They could. Yeah, they I could. could see. I could totally see it. They Th- could because again, <clears throat> somebody made a good point that in past regimes there's been a holdover. Yeah. So like Rivera had right. um, Haskins, Jay Gruden had um, RG three. Mm. So it's like this weird thing where like you almost lose a year because you're not able, because you already kind of have a guy sort of, but like you didn't bring your own guy in. Who made the Kirk Cousins decision? Who made that decision? Was it Shanahan? Mike Shanahan. Interesting. He, I apparently not to to draft him, to let him go. I mean, Oh, um, although the drafting is an interesting choice too. Yeah. I think that was probably under Jay. Yeah. Um, but they paid him. They tagged him twice. That's they true. paid him, That's and true. then yeah. he was just—I don't know—his contract was up. Yeah, it's so weird. It was odd that they they tagged him a second time. So you basically he made like forty something million yeah. in two years, and then he walked anyway. Yeah. But I, I think again, no knock, but what you get in Minnesota, he would have done in Washington, <laughs> and if maybe that is better. But is yeah. it? Yep. Is it what you want? Yeah. Kind of thing. I could totally see them going. I can not only can I see them taking a quarterback, I can see them making a splash and trading up for a quarterback. I could totally see it. They could because here's the other thing: they Jacoby is a free agent, right? So now you only have Sam. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to compete, yeah, you either try to get a veteran or you draft somebody. I don't know if they, I don't know if they would go in the first round, but they also have like, if it, if it landed today, I think they'd have three picks in the first like forty something mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. picks because mm-hmm. we have the Bears. It's like they, yeah. I mean, they got the wide receiver, they got the the running backs, which I think they have a solid one two punch. Oh, Again, one, you of, get, one of them was hurt today this week, right? Not Gibson, the other guy was hurt. Robinson was out. Yeah. Um. So this they, is what you know. It's like you're at the end. This is where a lot of guys are gonna like. Yeah. True. Yeah. Gonna be out anyway. Yeah, but yeah. again, they got a lot of cap space too. Yeah. Make a splash. That'd be interesting to see. That's gonna be a fun off. He's gonna have. It, I know. That's gonna be fun off season. It's gonna be a fun off season for both of us. I know we're uh, both in the same boat, yeah. which is great. Yeah, but like coaching decisions and <laughs> whoosh, it'll mm-hmm. be a good time, good times. Cool. Uh, no shock right here. The 49ers <coughs> over the Cardinals, forty five twenty nine. Purdy is still on his MVP run. Yeah. McCaffrey had a big game. They kept it close for a little bit. <coughs> the force the 49ers did pull out, pull pull away. Excuse me. Um, at the end there, I think it drives me a little nuts about the MVP conversation. Is like you take McCar- takes McCarthy out, and they fall apart. Who, McCaffrey? Mc, when I say McCarthy, McCaffrey. Say McCaffrey <laughs> out, they Mike fall. Knows. I feel like they fall apart like a Debo. Sure. Purdy, I feel like another quarterback would go in there. Although maybe not, because they lost Jimmy G a couple years ago, and they <clears> went three <throat> and whatever, so maybe not. But I, I feel like, why is it, don't even call it the MVP anymore. Just call it the quarterback award, because that's all it is. Because he'll win the MVP, and McCarthy's yeah. going to win, gonna win McCarthy. God damn it. McCaffrey's <laughs> going to win the Offensive Player of the Year award. <clears throat> That's what's going to happen, and it drives me nuts. It's like, is this a super? Is this a quarterback award? Well, I guess. All right. So then, who else would you consider for MVP? McCaffrey. Okay, that'd be my like. And it, I guess that's fair. I think like, the problem is on that team because I think that they are the best team in the league. Yeah, and they do have weapons. You got to look at the guy who is distributing mm. the ball. Mm. I was like, like McCaffrey has to get the ball like, handed McC- to him. <laughs> okay, he runs and catches. Like he's like, uh, it's no, just that's nuts. A, that's a fair point. And, it, and this is his, not his first, but it's a one his first in a little bit where he's just been fully healthy. He has a touchdown. How many games in a row now? It, he's breaking records. It's I think nuts. his streak broke a oh, couple weeks it? ago. Okay. Where he didn't score a touchdown, but yeah, point <clears throat> taken. Pathetic. Pathetic. I I would say too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wonder if he'll get any consideration because this year, like yeah. half the league, the quarterbacks have like nobody's really pay- played a full season of quarterback. <laughs> That's so true. I would be, and it hurts. Has fallen off the radar. Um, Dak yeah. has fallen off. Mahomes yeah. has fallen off. It, yeah, it's kind of like a two same team race. One thing I think that could potentially happen is votes get split between the two of them, mm. and then a third person comes charging in because those votes get split. Between, you know what I'm saying? It could be, and so. But I think you get like first, second, third place, so yeah. that'll be interesting to see. But I, I just think, 
I don't know the last time a non quarterback has won the MVP, which is kind of annoying. But like I said, McCarthy. Mc, I said it again. <laughs> I stopped myself that time. McCaffrey will win the Offensive Player of the Year award. That's what he'll win. Yeah, it's like, it's like a consolidate. It's like a consolation award at this point. Yeah, I get it. I mean, yeah. who's the last one? I don't know. Well, probably Ladainian Le- Tomlinson. Probably it's probably the last non quarterback yeah. or Sean Alexander. Wow. Yeah. Ex Redskin. Wow, I didn't even remember that. Yeah. Wow. After his Seattle days. <laughs> Towards, the <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end there. Yeah, that's that's usually when we pick guys up. <laughs> You're about to bar- retire? <laughs> Let me make you an offer. Oh, uh, God. Oh, no, excuse me. Adrian Peterson, <clears throat> 2012. Again, ex-Redskin. Yeah, so that's, that's right. Cool. That's right. Adrian Peterson. Um, Let's see who, who before that was LaDainian Tomlinson, and before that it was Sean Alexander. Okay, so it's either quarterback or running back. Yeah. So, like. In San Francisco, you got two options. The last, I'm going to make a guess here. The last non quarterback running back, because I know LT, the other LT, yeah. the original LT <coughs> won the MVP. That's going to be my guess. So I'm scrolling. God, who? Oh, no. Marshall Falk. Well, no, I said not running back. Marshall yeah, Falk. Yeah, non running back. Steve Young, Emmett Smith, Steve Young, Thurman Thomas, running back. Yeah. Joe Montana, Joe Montana, Boomer Sison, John Elway, Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, it was Lawrence Taylor. Wow. Can you imagine that, too? How fucking hard that is to win an, an MVP. <laughs> right? As a linebacker? Yep. What were you doing? Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. That must have been like the wildest season in history. We weren't even born. It was 86. Yeah. That's insane. Fun times. Yeah. I was having a good time just being a twinkle in my father's eye. (laughs) All right. Uh, Oh, no. (laughs) And moving on. And moving on. You know what? You know what? We we were catching flack on this fucking show about, oh, we're shitting on Dallas. And then both of us. Mm-hmm. Without really like talking it over, with both of us picked Dallas. Yep. That thing before we even talked about it, we were we would pick Dallas. We picked Dallas, and they shit their pants yep. in Buffalo. Yep, they shit their pants. They threw up on themselves. They, I can't even know. I don't even know what else I can say. Yeah, but what do they know? Because Buffalo was a two and a I half point. I thought that exact thing. I thought the same thing every time. There's a spread that yep. we're like, I don't, <laughs> huh? What? And it's then so funny. I, I have never looked at the spreads this closely before. So like it's, it's interesting. Weird. It's interesting watching it and, be like, and thinking, what the hell? So they knew. And they knew it, the Cowboys are fakers. They and they knew. And you know what? <clears throat> that game is on the Monday night that we'll talk about. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we gave Dallas praise for beating Philly. Right. Three in a row. Yep. Three in a row that could have been five in a row. Yeah. For yeah. Philly. So yeah. Yeah. was Dallas legit? Yeah. Are the Eagles legit? I don't know. No, I don't, know. I don't think so. Listen, All signs pointing to new. Was that? So, yeah. So I mean, Buffalo is. But we did say that. You did say like, is this a legit win? Last week, like we don't know. Right. So well, well because I, two they lost three in a row. Philly's <laughs> lost three in a row. Mm-hmm. They got their ass kicked two out of those three games. Yeah. And the game that they just lost, we'll get to it. Yep. Was not against like a juggernaut. Nope. It was against Drew Locke. Yeah. Not even their starting quarterback. Yeah. You lost to a backup in yeah. Seattle. So. Yeah. Dallas, I think uh, I smell the December decline. Yeah, in, uh, oh, big D. Yeah, I even made a note that Bills favored by two, which I thought was in, which we thought was interesting. Yeah, I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, not great, not great. The Cowboys boomed us. We knew they're losers. Sorry, cuz. Yeah, hey. like we tried. We tried. We tried. We tried. We tried. <laughs> it's not for lack of effort because right. we both right. we both shit on the hit them yep. and going into Buffalo. Right, Buffalo is like they're not the great the greatest team, but Buffalo is a tough place to play. Like, yeah, I think they kicked the shit out of Philly. I'm like, eh, give them the give them the pass. Buffalo is way better than their record. That's for sure. But they, speaking of pooping on yourself or you know puking on yourself, pooping your pants, yeah. like. Not they screwed themselves so bad that they're like playing for their football lives. They're looking up. Oh, they, have yeah. to, they have to leapfrog two teams to get into the playoffs. That yeah. is not an easy task. I do still think I could see them winning out and making it. They have the talent. Yeah. They should be better than they are. Yeah, they're sitting at eight and six. They they sh- I don't know what happened this year. They should have been better than they are. But yep. Patriots, again. one of our wins was against that, and that, that one of the games. And I'll be happy if the Patriots can keep them out of the playoffs. Um, but yeah, <sighs> look at it. Mm. One thirty four and a pick. CD Lamb seven catches fifty three yards. I mean, yeah, he got a they just touchdown. He got a garbage touchdown at the very end. This this game, like it wasn't even that close. It was a garbage touchdown at the end. It was yeah, thirty three one three thirty one three. They just they didn't. Maybe the whole team just didn't show up. And I yeah. guess that that happens. The other thing we were talking about was sometimes getting your ass kicked or getting humbled in December uh-huh. Uh-huh. could be a good thing. Yeah. 
Well, the Cowboys better hope they win that division because they're going to need that home game. Well, the way <laughs> Philly is playing, they still because Philly lost, Dallas is still technically That's in the driver's true. You're seat. You're right. You're correct. But look at their look at their away record. Yeah, exactly. Three and four. Yep, I think they've only lost one at home. They haven't lost any at home. The Cowboys. Oh, you're three, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. They better win the that. Road. Yeah, you're right. You're, they better win. They better win that division because if they don't, they're in trouble. It's wild. Yep. And uh, oh, oh, another thing about this game. What have we been saying? Not not Cowboys related. You know, and, you know yeah, we shit on the Cowboys. You know, we shit on the Patriots. We shit on the Commanders. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we, we're, we're equal opportunities. We're equal. Exactly, exactly. I'll shit on these walls, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. I got no problem. Um, one thing we always say about the Bills is that they've they need a running game. They need a running game, mm-hmm. and and James Cook had an amazing look at that. 20, we're talking about Bell yeah. Cow, twenty five carries, yeah. like, and it's funny because Josh Allen at the end, and his post game press conference said he's like, oh, I feel like the kid who was in a project and got an A and didn't do anything. That's what's supposed to happen. Like, you should yes. not have to do everything, Josh Allen. That's what you need to learn. You don't need. He's to do still everything. pretty reckless for being a guy who's been in the league for yeah. a few years. He's yeah. he's pretty reckless out there. It's like you don't need to do everything. You need yeah. other dudes to step up, yep. and that's awesome that that can happen. And then then when the, they call upon you, you yep. can make those drives. Those like against the Chiefs, make mm-hmm. those drives, make those plays. Um. So yeah, and uh, what can I say? We know what we're talking about over here. I'm saying, I'm saying. You know, we gave you the benefit of the doubt. I said, prove it, prove it again, and yep. you couldn't do it. Nope. And you made us look like idiots in front of everybody, in front of, in front of the friends and family. World. Everyone knew I picked the Cowboys because everyone watches the show. Around you the know world. how much it pained me to to pick yeah. Dallas in that game, and I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? Ah, yep. They can do it. Yeah, I know who I'm picking next week. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, Ravens over the Jaguars, twenty three to seven. Talk Not- about pooping your pants. The Jaguars have fallen from grace a yep. little bit. They're are they on the outside looking in? They're not. They're still. They're well. They're tied for the division lead. But they have whatever the tiebreaker might be because they are they are the four seed. Um, Texans are tied with them in yes. the division, but they are the eight seed. Um, so I don't know what the tiebreaker is, maybe head to head, but there might be a, a fun game at the end of the season. It's gonna be some some tiebreakers at the end there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Jaguars went from yeah, what is the one seed to losing three in a row. Yeah, that is wild. Yep, three in a row. Um, I will say that their remaining schedule is pretty favored they're playing for t- them. Tampa Bakers. Yeah, because they're playing the Bakers. Uh, the, the Bakers. The Tampa Bakers. They don't have to travel very far. The Panthers and the Titans. Th- those are all winnable games. Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't show who's home or away when they show that little thing at the bottom there, do they? Um, For which game? Well, any, I just see versus, versus, versus. I don't see Oh, that. all right. So they're, they're, they're at Tampa. Okay. They're at home against Carolina, and then they're at Tennessee. Okay. They're all winnable games. I mean, yeah. the, the best team out of the, those three are the Tampa Bakers. Yep. Yeah. And, and I have no faith in them either. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as well as much as, like, B- Baker can do a perfect passer rating, he could, could turn around and throw four interceptions, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. He's very much like a... Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. I'm not blanking. <laughs> Are you thinking of a team or a player? No, uh, the ex-quarterback, who's the quarterback on the Saints. Derek Carr? No, backup. Jameis. Oh, Mariota. Fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what an idiot. Jameis Winston. <laughs> he'll, throw, he'll throw 300 yards, yes. Two, yes. Uh, two picks, three yep. touchdowns. Yep. Yeah. And the other fakers in the NFC East are yeah. the, the Eagles. The biggest fakers of all time. I watched this whole game start to finish. Did you? Yeah, I did. I couldn't. Completely underwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> Until the last drive, um, I told you, like, we, I could not, I, I was sitting on the couch, and I just could, I just, like, well, no, this wasn't, no, this happened, this wasn't yesterday, this was Monday. We're not, no, yeah, when you when we didn't record, when we could have recorded, we didn't record, <laughs> I was on the couch, and I was like, I'm not moving, I'm not moving, I didn't, didn't move, didn't move, um, yeah, definitely underwhelming, um, I think if, if Jalen Hurts didn't get tush pushed about <sighs> 15 times a year into the end zone, he, he, his numbers would be pedestrian. Pedestrian. Three in a row. It could have been five. And if you look, actually, I wanted to pull this up. Not mm-hmm. that I want to give Dallas any credit because I know everybody will take this the wrong way. But if, if you look at it, they lost three in a row, mm-hmm. right? 37-34 against the Bills. Could have lost that game. Should have lost that game, really. Yeah. The Chiefs, 21-17. Yep. Could have, should have. I get it. Dallas, 28-23. 
Washington was 38-31. Uh, I'll give them the pass because that was a garbage comeback. But again, you look at how close they were playing all these teams yeah. in the last six games. They're 3-3. Yeah. Three three. yeah. So I'm just saying. If you're a regular listener of the show, I know you all are, <laughs> what have we been saying? We said the Eagles, they won like four in a row, but they are all they had to come back. We said, what did we say? We said the Magic? Yeah, you, you can't keep playing. It's going to run out. Yeah, you can't keep playing. And like look that. what happened. You know what? Th- another one. Another distraction, right? Yeah. These Kelsey brothers and they're, oh. they're stupid. They're, they're doing like uh, Christmas sing-alongs and mm. all this stupid bullshit. Mm. It, I tell you, too, too many distractions <laughs> between Philly and Kansas City with the Kelseys. Just wait and, till you retire to do all that shenanigans. Although Jason Kelsey's probably going to retire this year. Um, but I'm, I'm just like, we called it. These us two schlubs. We knew that they were going to start that decline. Couple of idiots. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yep. And, and they it. lost to your point. To Drew Locke. Yeah. No, no offense to Drew Locke, but he yep. was not the starter. Nope. Did not, they, didn't, they didn't lose to a, the, the Niners, a, a juggernaut. Mm. They lost to the Seahawks. Yeah. We're 7-7. Seven and seven. Yep. 6-7 six and seven going into the game. <laughs> uh, the big thing that came out of this game, actually before the game, <clears throat> excuse me, the Eagles demoted their defensive coordinator, and they promoted the new offensive coordinator, Matt Patricia, former offensive coordinator, former special assistant, to the head coach and former mm. defensive coordinator of the New England Patriots. So there was a a podcast that I was listening to this week that, that had an interesting point. Now, mm. granted, should he have been an OC? No. No. But the point was, look at what he had last year mm. versus what Bill O'Brien has this year, mm. and where is the improvement? Mm. So it was basically like, New England's pretty much been the same. Maybe you guys signed a couple, like, B receivers, but, like, they weren't any better or worse. Like, I, I, I actually, you could argue that they were worse this year. I, I, I do think, so, from my understanding, so, well, we, we got rid of, well, we left, Jaco- Jacoby's gone, and we brought in Juju, who's toast. You know, he's got nothing left. Yeah. Um, Mac, like I said, was seeing ghosts. Um, a big thing with them is that the offense, they, like, went, they, they did, they tried to simplify it last year, especially with Patricia playing in the offensive corner. Yeah. So maybe if they kept that same offense, it would have been better. I don't know. But yeah, th- there are some thoughts. It's like maybe it wasn't all him. And I do agree. But you even see, you, when they were, as a, as a keen observer and wa- reading like stuff afterwards, when they're making play calls, it was like someone just picking plays out of a hat last year. It was yeah. like someone playing Madden, just like yeah, random yeah. play, random <laughs> play. Ra- Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Screen, 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 screen. Mm. Um, and. I feel like there's more connective tissue on the offense this year, but the talent is just, there's nothing. There's, there's nothing. There is no talent. It was, it was just an interesting point. Cause like, yeah, last year, I think that was the, the low hanging fruit was to be like, why is Patricia? Right. A, yeah. It was easy. It was like, Oh, we lost this a lost season. But right. I, I do think that completely stunted max development completely. You could, and, yeah. Yeah. And you could learn another offensive coordinator, another offensive system. For a yeah. young quarterback, that's the worst is because, like, you go from college to the pros, and over a course of a couple of years into your career, <clears> you mm-hmm. have three different offenses. Yeah. From, your like, your last year in college to your first two years right. in the pros. Right, And also, Bill O'Brien has coached, off like, good offenses before. Yeah. I mean, the year, it's, things change, but he was recently a head coach not too long ago of the Texans, and they were good. Mm. Um, he shouldn't have been given the GM powers. That's where they, you know, that, whatever. I, I, Silly, yeah. Um, but no coach should have that, yeah, right? I'm exactly, sorry, yeah. no coach should have that. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, but Matt Patricia, as a defensive coach, removing the offensive coordinator from it completely mm. is also, in my opinion, not great. He's always been like the big bend but don't break. Yeah. Um, Super Bowl Fifty Two, Tom Brady threw for like 400 yards and lost because yeah. we gave up a thousand yards to Nick Foles. Uh, the year after, we went to the Super Bowl Fifty Three and gave up three points to. We took three points in the Rams, you know, and. Mm. Flores was a defensive coordinator, a lot more, a lot more aggressive, which I always appreciated. Um, you could say he was the defensive coordinator for the 2014 team when they beat the Seahawks, but that defense had Revis. They had yeah. high, like at that prime Revis, Hightower, mm-hmm. Chandler Jones. <laughs> that defense was stacked. Yeah. Brandon Browner, um, right before a lot of them fell off the cliff. But yeah, uh, not looking good. And then he gave up, you know, a touchdown at the end to Drew Locke. So. Good luck. Philly is a bunch of yeah. fakers. I don't know what happened with him at Trish, Patricia in Detroit, but they hated that dude. The fans and the players when he was head coach there. Um, my, my big yeah. complaint about Patricia is that he has a pencil in his ear and he has a laminated play sheet. So you can't even draw on it with the pencil. So why is a pencil in your ear? It's all for show, which I don't appreciate. 
Do you know that? Maybe he uses it. I've never seen him use it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That is weird. I don't know why he would do that. <laughs> he's a rocket science. Just. Maybe he's like in between plays. He's like a contractor. He's like measuring shit. He's going to mark things out. It's possible. He looks, he could be. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> I'll call him, give him a call. Anyway, that was uh, that was the week 15. That was the week yeah. that was. NFL, man. The NFL's wild. 15. That's why it's so much fun, though, because every game, it's like every game is different, you know? Like, yeah. it's just, like the Raiders went from scoring three zero points to 63. Oh, <laughs> only in the NFL, especially yeah. this year. Yeah. I know we say it like every year, like, oh, right. every year flies by. And no, this it is does. the weirdest NFL season, but it's like, this yeah. was like the weirdest NFL yeah. season so far. Yeah. The days are long, but the years are short. Amen. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, um, do you have you have a beer of the week? I do and I'm going to go get a second Modelo beer of the week for me. But okay. let me. I can. I'll talk for mine while I ask if there's a hot take. Um, Jessica did say she wasn't. She she wasn't wasn't sure. She didn't watch a ton this weekend. Um, so we might not have them. But the other week, excuse me. So I got my Sam Adams Old Fezziwig, rich and spiced. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Because I finished it. Um, I usually don't finish it this fast <laughs> before the actual beer of the week, but... Um, Interesting. It was good. I enjoyed it. Um, it was from that same pack that it came with last week uh, with the winter holiday one. Um, and then next week, I'll probably have the vanilla porter. But it was good. I enjoyed it. There you go. That's uh, two in a row and uh, two in a row. So Cheers. Cheers. It's your beer of the week. Beer of the week. Do you have a hot take, or should I go right to the fantasy oh, corner? We've oh, already she, talked like she, about it. She was waiting. She was waiting. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Hold nah, on. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's a good one. I don't want any mild. I don't not, <laughs> so mild, medium, hot. I want hot. Patriots are going to end up with the number one pick. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like that. She All right, said so, we're going to lose out. She said we're going to lose out. She said not, nothing left. We got nothing left. It's over. Okay. Over. Hey, listen. I hope that one's true. That's a that's a good pick. Uh, let me just look at the Panthers' remaining schedule. I am very fucking interested now. That's mm-hmm. a good one. So the Panthers have the Packers. They are at Jacksonville, and then they are home again against the Tampa Bakers. Mm. I, it's it's unlikely that they would I, to me. Although I would not have picked them necessarily to be Atlanta, but Atlanta. Was, yeah, anything can happen in a division game. It is true. I would say that they may be, potentially, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. beat the Buccaneers. Yeah, but I like I like it. It's a good it's a good hot take. I can see the Patriots beating the Jets uh, to end the season, but other than that, I really don't. <laughs> I can't, I wait, I can't don't. wait to go into this this week's picks. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, that's your that's your hot take for the week. Yeah, it's a. I like that. Um, I'm hoping for it. I don't even know what to do with myself if we get the one overall. I mean, the Reds. You get in your lifetime. Have the Redskins ever had the number one overall? They traded up. I know that for. Yeah, no, I don't believe so. Where? No, they, a couple close. of years ago, they they won an extra game against like the Texans, and then we missed out, and that was the Burrow Chase Young. We got the number two pit. I think that that's and the they, highest we've been. And, wait, Burrow Chase. Yeah, Joe Burrow went and won. Uh-huh. If we had, I think we beat the Texans in like oh, a, no. a late game where we could have. Gotcha. That sucks. Um, RG three though, did you trade up to two or one for him? Oh, that was two, right? It was Andrew Luck year. It was the end. Yeah, it was two. Trade up two. Yeah. We and we traded like four <laughs> yeah. first round picks and. Uh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah, let's not open up that wound. Um, I feel you. Cool. Gotcha. All right. Well, we kind of already touched on it, but. Yeah, the fantasy corner. Yeah, real bummed about the cheese league. Shout out cheese. Um, I we were, we were lockstep during the crawl. I even showed him the score. I was like, hey, look at this. Um, I went boomer bust with my kicker, and I I busted. I busted real bad. Um, and uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yeah, I um, I I got the shit kicked out of me because golf went off. Golf yeah. went off. Yep, and, and Russ yep. didn't do diddly poo. We're actually playing each other in the loser bowl. For like third place, maybe I don't know. Yeah, what's up? Fucking right, what's dude. Up? What? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know what though? Whatever. I, I I play these. I play for fun for funsies. I I don't do a lot of trades. I don't do a lot yeah. of waiver wire shit. But I I do pay attention. Um, I think I went eight and six in that league, and you know, yeah, we'll put see. Up a good fight, but anything we'll can see. happen in the playoffs. A lot of it's random, just random, random stuff. You know, 
Um, well, it, it's tough. I mean, the the person I was playing had Stroud, and Stroud was out. You had to pick. Yeah. You had to pick up somebody. You pick yeah. up golf, and and yeah, right. that shit happens. Yeah. You just, yep. Sometimes you get lucky. You get five touchdowns, and like now that they might be hitting their stride, they have weapons, so you could ride out golf. And yeah. Like he threw three touchdowns to Laporta, and the week before that, Laporta got three points. So it's like, yeah, right. It's like give or take. Um, and Laporta, I drafted him in like the fifteenth round. Um, in my money league, I am in the. Top, final four. I made Ooh. it to, the, to the, the conference championship. Um, I've had a lot of success in this league. I've won. I've won one championship. I've made it to three total. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them I lost by. I I got destroyed. The other one I made a shitty decision because Dalvin Cook got hurt and I played and Madison was out. So I think I played like Mike Boone and I lost by like four points. That was a heartbreaker. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, I did win a couple years ago when Chase put had a monster game. Um, the problem is Flacco was questionable. Um, I don't know if you saw Mike Pittman in that Colts game got his dis- brain destroyed on a cheap shot. No. Um, so he was he was having a great game. He had like nine points in the second quarter, and then he got concussed. Uh, Chase is out, Oof. so I'm a dead man walking. But you, know, you never know. Anything can happen. Um, I'm playing Singletary in this game because he's been getting a yeah. lot of carries, um, which is kind of wild. Excuse me. So if Chase is out, Singletary's going in, um, which it looks like he is. So I'm going to pray. There you go. At least... It, one of us is still alive in one of the four leagues that we're yeah. a part of. Yeah, and I'm playing my cousin, John. Shout out, John. Shout out, John. So I'll be happy either way. If he goes, I'll be happy. If I win, I'll be happy. But so you want to win. I want to win. Yeah, it's fine. I want my money. I want the money. Give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> I want that trophy back is what I want because I won two years ago, last <clears throat> lost last year. So And last year I also lost in a bit of a heartbreaker because uh, 2-2 Atwell for the Rams oh, yeah. could not get me like five points. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so um I want it. And in well, the, in the, the way this league works is we have a, a loser bracket and the winner of the championship gets to do something to the loser of the loser bracket. So a couple of years ago. So the, the loser of the, not the winner of the loser. Bracket, correct. The loser. The loser. Okay. Ultimate loser. Okay. Uh, so a couple of years ago when I won, my cousin John was the ultimate loser and I made him watch all the Twilight movies in a row and live tweet them. Um, oh my God. Wait. Consecutive, like how not many, consecutively. How many, how many Twilight movies are there? So here's the funny thing. Oh I, when I told him about this, I thought there were three. Apparently, there's five. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, 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 so I, I, I made him stop at three. I was like, I didn't know there's five. I thought it was a trilogy. I'm yeah, sorry. exactly. So I didn't make him go all the way through. Uh, so we've had some some good ones. Someone had to do someone who the, the ultimate loser last year is, does not like being scared, so they made him go through like a. Spooky. I spooky like that. Thing. I wonder if we could implement something like that in the Cheese League. I think I think that would be yeah. fun. And he, so they made him go through like a haunted house. Yeah, had to like live <clears throat> live video it and stuff like that. Um, nice. I'm trying to remember some of the other ones. Someone had to like rollerblade. I don't know. It was like a long distance. It was whatever. Uh-huh. Um, I luckily have never. I've been in the loser bowl. Yeah. I won thankfully. Um, but <laughs> I've made the playoffs a good amount of time. So I've actually been very successful in that league. I think I have the. The highest winning percentage oh. in history. It's, we're going on year ten next year, so wow. it's been on for a while. I was like, we should do something special for year ten. Maybe we'll go to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny when you're like, I will never go to Miami for your birthday. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, that is your fantasy corner. Yeah. Next week will be a good one. We'll see what happens. And mm. on to, we're already at week week 16. 16. Three weeks left. Uh, a couple years ago, this would be probably the last big week. But yeah, we got three weeks left. Yep. And then playoffs. Okay. And because we're on, hold on. Because we're on a Wednesday, yeah, chill. I think there should be uh, lines for every game. Oh, you're right. This will be very clean. Clean, clean, clean. Um, I have not looked ahead of time, uh, so I'm not sure what I'm picking. But, oh, that's right. That's where, oh, that's Same. Right. Okay, so leading us off, um, Prime Video, 8.15 Thursday, we have the New Orleans Saints traveling to the, I almost said St. Louis Rams, (laughs) to the Los Angeles Rams. (laughs) The Rams are four-point favorites. Uh, I'm going to take the Rams. Going to take the Rams. Saints look decent this Mm -hmm. week against a, a, I think, a subpar. Like, I think what DeVito has done with the Giants with, like, kind of, like, no weapons besides Saquon. Yeah. Yeah. but I, I don't trust the Saints. The Saints are like, they fall in that bracket of like the Steelers and shit for yeah, me. And I right. think the Rams, 
I think it, that they're like on the uprise. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like two teams who are both seven and seven, but I feel like every time I see the Rams, they're wildly winning. different. Yeah, they're yeah. winning, and the Saints. I always feel like they're losing. I don't know if it's because I don't know. That's weird. But yeah, I'm picking the Saints. I'm sorry, the Rams. I will pick the Rams as well. All right. Uh, the next at four third uh, going to s- oh more Saturday games. So we have yep. a four thirty Saturday <laughs> game on NBC. Which is interesting. So that'll be uh, probably on Peacock too. So that's probably gonna be like their their Sunday Night Football crew, maybe. Um, we have so okay. Good. Well, you see the second game. I'm sorry. The second game is on Peacock. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, you're right. So maybe that for somebody on both. Because I know Sunday Night Football is on Peacock. Yeah, I was watching it uh, the other night on my phone. So yeah, we got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who, if it's true, now they have Kenny Pickett here, but I'm pretty sure Rudolph is. Playing. I think it's just because he's leading the yeah, team. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but okay. Here's a couple things. Rudolph is playing quarterback, but Chase is out. Um, potentially out. Um, which this makes this a struggle. But you got Higgins, and you got. Mason. Yeah. By the way, that touchdown by Higgins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. He's That's a free agent after this year. I want him. Higgins? I want him. I tell you what. I want him. He. <laughs> He's done well for me in fantasy, and again, if you didn't have Chase, yeah, I think he could be Number a bigger one. star. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go Bengals, who are two point favorites. Yeah, I mean, again, they had a tough game, a close game against the Vikings. Yeah, um, but eight and six, they're they're playing for the playoffs, and the yeah. Steelers. Are, you know, again, if you're going back to Mason Rudolph's, mm-hmm. no knock, but. They're at home. You know what? This could be a game where the Steelers do win. I yeah. can see it. I get that spread of two. I could see it. But I'm going to th- go with the Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling like the, you know, there's, there's whispers now about Tomlin. Like, are the wheels starting to fall off? So, you know, things are getting weird. Things yeah. are getting real weird up in there, up in Pittsburgh. So we'll see. Yeah. Uh, then we have the game that is only on Peacock. Peacock exclusive. It will not be on terrestrial television unless you live in Buffalo or Lame. in Los Angeles. Um Lame. Peacock only at eight o'clock sharp. Although it's probably not going to start till like eight thirty. Uh, we have the Buffalo Bills traveling to the Los Angeles San Diego Chargers. Bills are twelve point favorites. I'm picking the Bills. They are. I think like I said they probably are going to win out. Um, I don't even know who the Chargers interim coach is, but yeah, I think you get you get the shit kicked out of you by the Raiders and Herbert's out for the year. Uh, mm-hmm. Bills Bills have something to prove here going forward. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna go with the Bills. All right. Okay. Now we got the Indianapolis Colts. I look at this back. This is a Sunday. Christmas Eve Sunday. We have the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are one point favorites. Playing your boy. Ah, uh, Minshew versus Heineke. <laughs> I like it. Um, I think that the Colts have more to play for. Mm-hmm. I think they looked good this past week. I love Heineke forever and always. They're at home. I think they do have a good shot in this game. Mm-hmm. But I will go with the underdog Colts of Indianapolis Yeah, in this one. Mm. This is what I'm looking at. I was like, I feel like the Colts should be favored in this game. What do they know? Yeah. What do so, they know? That means I have to go, I have to go Falcons. This is some like weird. Yeah. I gotta weird go Fal- We're going to talk about this one. I'm yeah, gonna, mark this one down I'm because this is going to be know? one. What do they know? What do they know? It's a one point. Uh, you're six and eight with a backup. I love Heineke, but yeah. again, backup versus Minshew, who is a backup, but he's been playing most of yeah, the year. He just had a good game. He just had a good game. They're five and two on the road, yeah. so I don't understand this one necessarily. Yeah, yeah. but so all right. What do they know? Um, that might. Be, I don't know. If, I haven't decided on a money pick. I'm, I don't. I, I've never. I've never no. gone back to one. I've always tried to do it live and like not try not to. <laughs> to blow it up, but um, I might have to go back to that one. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, and then we got one o'clock on the Shibiash. We have the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, I think Geno Smith is back. I think he's gonna be back. Mm. Um, I think I saw Carroll say he's gonna practice the whole se- the whole week uh, against the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Seahawks are two uh, two and a half point favorites. I'm gonna go with the Seahawks. I, I'm, I'm yeah. actually interested in why. I mean, they, I, I, Philly's not that good, uh, obviously. <laughs> right. but, they, but they did just beat Philly. It's like I, yeah. I wonder why it's it's such a low spread. Maybe because it's on the road. Mm-hmm, uh, probably that. Actually, if you look at their record on the road, is absolutely terrible. That Two and five true. on the road. Yeah, they did. Be, they, I will say they did beat Philadelphia at home, which is a which is known to be a good. Home advantage, um, but that's I mean, two and five on the road. It's pretty rough. It is pretty rough. 
But who are the Titans? I mean, it's still Will Levi Jeans, right? Yeah. Yep. And Derrick Henry. I don't know if he's on the down. I mean, he, he had a good Derrick Henry had a great game two weeks ago. Bad game last week. So I'm I'm going uh, I'm going Seahawks. Uh-huh. I'm going Seahawks. Right. I think I agree with you on that one. Uh, and then next we have the De- my boys, the Detroit Lions, are back, <laughs> traveling to the Minnesota Vikings. Lions are three and a half point favorites. Ah, D- Detroit is still in the running for a one seed. Yeah, and I <laughs> they betrayed me. I went against them. It's they spat in my face, so I have to go back. I have to go crawling back. You betrayed them. They betrayed you. <laughs> and then now we're all is right in the world. We'll see what there. happens in this game, though, because if they betray me again, they're going to be in big trouble. I'm, I'm interested. Of, where is Where does Minnesota fit in the playoff race? Uh, Minnesota currently is the sixth seed. Uh, sixth seed. Oh, they yeah. have a 55% chance of making it, and the Lions are obviously not a 9% chance. But if the Vikings win, game out though. If, yeah, if the Vikings win, they jump up to a seventy nine percent chance to make it. If they lose, they drop to a thirty nine percent chance. So they better win. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the Lions here. Um, I mean, they finally put it together against the team. That yeah, was it was like a complete surging. victory. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. It wasn't a team that was, and they're that playing, was reeling. They're, they're surging. If the Niners can catch a loss, mm-hmm. the Lions are. They were right in the thick of things yeah. for the, that one seed. They just get those weird losses. Like, the 49ers, I, I understand their losses were, like, Debo got hurt. Things They had a weird mini dive yeah. in the middle. But they've, they've come back. Lions have just have, like, scattered losses around the season. That right. are weird. They and just then, don't make sense. Yeah, and then the Eagles are just bad. And the Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, all right. <clears throat> Next, we've got your boys, the Washington Commandos, mm-hmm. traveling to the New York Jets. <laughs> in the Jets. <laughs> With potentially starting their third string quarterback, three point favorites at home. That is that, that says everything uh-huh. that you need to know uh-huh. about how bad Washington is right now. Right. That with Trevor Simeon, a third string quarterback, they're favored. They do have a better record, uh, <laughs> but I, I don't think I, I did say a couple of weeks ago. I said Washington will lose out because mm-hmm. I don't think that they can go to New York and win a fucking game. Even yeah. if it's the Jets, I don't give a shit. Yeah. But and Trevor might be playing. I can't reasonably pick a third string quarterback over Washington. I'm gonna go with I'm I said, go with the Redskins here. I said a few weeks ago that the Jets should have started Trevor from the start, and I'm mm-hmm. sticking with it. I'm picking the Jets. <sighs> Sorry. This one has implications too. Me and Cheese have a, a solid right. bet. It's a big one. It's our win- the winter warmer, the Bing Crosby Narragansett yep. uh, yep. beer. We have a we have a bet. Gentleman's bet for some winter warmer. I like that. I like it a lot. <sighs> yeah, I gotta go to Washington on that one. I, 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 if they lose, I'm not surprised because I, I said that they would lose out. And this is one you couldn't go to because it's Christmas Eve, right? Yeah, tickets as low as thirty two dollars. <laughs> I see. I'm seeing fourteen dollars. <laughs> wow. Damn. See, you know. Damn. Right. If it, it, it was, it was like three different weekends that it couldn't fall on, which was last weekend because we had the crawl, and <laughs> yep. then and then Christmas Eve, and it was like, of course, it's a Christmas Eve game because yep. we were gonna, we were gonna go. Of course, of course, of course. Um, I gotta look for. A you can always go to a Giants game. Uh, let's see. Then we got the one o'clock still on Fox. Uh, no more buys because of the fantasy playoffs. The Green Bay Packers are traveling to the two and twelve Panthers. And Jay, Love is having a decent season. Three, 33, uh, 3,300 yards, yeah. 25 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He's just, again, scattered losses, uh, not putting it together all at once, not having a complete game. Chubba Hubbard's really come up, come on for the, the Panthers. Um, Thielen's kind of had a downtrend, but he's got a lot of receptions. I, I think barring, barring a really terrible game from Love, like I'm talking like multiple picks yeah. and, and just completely falling apart, I, I think the Packers I, take this one. I'm with you. And the, and the Panthers' two wins have been like, Nine to six, yeah, like ten three or something like that. <laughs> Nothing. And again, uh, you see the way Jordan Love plays. Like, I, I think he's good. It just again, Green Bay wasn't good last year. Yeah, he's just good. Yeah, he's going to continue to put it together. Uh, then next we have the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Joe Flacco, please hope your calf stays healthy. Uh, traveling to, I'm not sure if CJ Stroud is playing. I don't think so. Okay, so yeah, Case um, Keenum, baby. That's why the Cleveland Browns are two and a half point favorites. I got to go with Joe. Go Joe. Go. Go Joe Joe Joe. I'm I'm going with uh I'm going with Flacco too. Yeah. Uh shout out Case though. Mm-hmm. But uh Joe Flacco, what is he he's got Ca- a, it's a calf. Um 
That's I just he popped up on the injury report today. I don't even think they practiced. What did it say here? Uh, he was in the he'll injury report. Right. Yeah, he'll be calf. Right. He'll be fine. He's a hockey player. He'll, he'll be. He'll be all right. Yeah, he'll just. He just. He just. He'll shoot it up. Um, excuse me. And then we got the Jacksonville Jaguars traveling to the Tampa Bay Baker Nears. Um, another interesting one. We got the Bacon Ears at one point favorites, and this is a, their home game. But Jaguars don't have to travel that far because it's Florida. Um, Jacksonville's on a three game streak. Yeah, I'm. You got it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Go Bacon Ears. Yeah, go Bakers. Go yeah. Bakers. Go Bakers. You have completely flipped. Yeah. <laughs> now again, Jaguars were one of your teams. So I was like the Lions and the Jaguars, yeah. and now you. Dude, if I would have said this like a month ago yeah. that yeah. you were going to pick the Tampa Bakers over you over your beloved liar. Jaguars, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here you are. I would have called you a filthy, disgusting, dirty liar. Come on, Jack. Jaguars are they're pissing it away, man. Five and one at home, but so they're they're five and one away. Mm. But um, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I um, I've been pretty fifty fifty at my my money's pick. So I think they they look pretty good against Green Bay. Again, you have weapons on that team. You're at home. They are playing for something. Yeah. And it's interesting. So this is another, like, what are the Sharps know? I feel like Tampa Bay should be maybe not the favorite. Not that close. Now, Rhode Island Sportsbook has it as a pick em, So Close enough. No, no, nothing. So give me, I'll... Uh, give me them Tampa Bakers, baby. Yeah. I'm, I'm back on board. And I st- still stick with the thing of imagine Baker on that Browns team, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, they don't need him. They got Joe Flacco now. That's true. That's true. Even Problem. better. Baker, but better. Uh, <clears throat> and then we have the Arizona Cardinals traveling to the Chicago Bears. Um, Chicago Bears, four and a half point favorites. Ish. It's going to be a pretty poopy game, um, potentially, probably. Feels I, better have a good game here. Now, granted, they are 3-11, and 11, so, I mean, they, they're bad everywhere. <laughs> but if you look at that that away record, the one and six. Yep. Yeah. And then, and it, I think the Bears have been playing better. They've been yeah. way more. Comp- I mean, they're, they're five and nine, but they've been a little bit more competitive. They lost last week, right? Uh, like so, lately, yeah. And like they won, like yeah, they had. They, I remember I said a few weeks ago, I'm like Fields is looking good. They're probably going to keep him. And then they yeah. played another like stinker. So it's like, ah, come on. The fun fact is Montez Sweat leads both the Bears and Washington <laughs> in sacks. That's amazing. I'm going to go with the Bears at home. I'm going to go with the Cardinals. There you go. I'll switch it up. Yeah, because I want the Bears to lose. And I feel like Mer- And they played them kind of close. Fair. They're one and six away, but the, the You Saints- want them to lose? Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. A, yeah. Right. I forget. You guys are in a... The, the, the Cardinals are a weird situation, too, where, like, Murray didn't play for a few weeks, obviously. And yeah. they had, they kept it a little close to four hours. Eventually, they pulled away. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, next, we have the Faker Bowl. Um, go ahead. We got the Dallas Cowboys traveling to the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Oh, I've waited all week. <laughs> I've waited maybe all year for the Cowboys to be my joker pick of the week. <laughs> bums. Straight bums. The the December decline in Big D is already underway. Yep. Miami at home, baby. Look at that away record. Three and four. Miami six and one at home. Mm-hmm. Give me the Dolphins, baby. Mm-hmm. Now, I have to also pick the Dolphins, but this game is one of those that I always joke around that could start in at a 0-0 tie. Because which one's the bigger faker? They're both fakes, both fakers. Who's gonna be the bigger faker? They, they are both fakers. It. But I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm agreeing with you with the Dolphins. Yeah, uh, I'm going with the Dolphins. It's, it's gonna be one of those like if you, if Dallas, if Dallas went to Buffalo, I think that Buffalo is different. It's, mm-hmm. it, you know, outside it's December. If they couldn't stop Buffalo's offense, <laughs> I think they're gonna have a. I think yeah. they might have trouble with Miami. Now, is Tyreek playing is the question. He was out last week. They still scored 30. Right. But is he playing? That's well, a big thing. Look at, big look at what Waddle did. Yeah, true. He had a, he had a monster yeah. game. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Good joker pick on that. <laughs> <laughs> I should It's funny. I was looking at the old. Like, he hasn't picked one yet. And I'm like, I should have known. <laughs> uh, and then next, we have the primetime game at 8.15 p.m. on NFL Network. Um, I feel so bad. For these dudes, uh, I mean, they're highly paid athletes. They probably don't care, but there's like other people, like writers and stuff, who travel with them. That sucks because it's Christmas Eve in Denver. We've talked about this a couple times. Yeah. They're gonna get the plane at like two a.m. Evan Lazar is Jewish, and even he said it's like this is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> who knows? They're gonna be flying in the air with Santa. But we got the three and eleven Patriots uh, traveling to the seven and seven Broncos. I'll be watching this while I wrap presents. Um, 
I got and again Russell Wilson not having a terrible year. Um, Williams having a pretty decent running back year. Sutton has been the real. <laughs> it's funny. Like you see, it's all yeah. Broncos stats. There's no yeah, Patriots guys it, on there. I, mean, uh, I got to go with Jess's hot take. I'll pick the Broncos. Patriots. I picked the Patriots last week. So I was like, yeah, who? They won a game. I'll pick them again. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah. Stupid. Um, but the Broncos are playing for their f- playoff lives, and the Patriots are just dead in the water. Yeah, it's just sad. Now. Yeah, it's I'm gonna, sad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Denver. But we talked about that early in the season. Is like by the time, like what you should have done is just have whatever coast. Like if if you were gonna be yeah. West Coast, West Coast, or yeah. East Coast, East Coast. Like why Mountain East? It just seems yeah. Like now you have Mountain and East. Like yeah. it's just by the time the Patriots get back, it is a little ridiculous. Seems um, rude. I'm gonna go with the. The Broncos. Yeah. Broncos are six and a half point favorites. And it's also at home. It's at Mile High, which has always been a tough place to play for the Patriots. So Yeah. Is there, uh, and then we have three. Whoa. Yeah. We get to watch one. Yeah. Three Monday Christmas games. Um, Celtics play at five, in case anyone's wondering. Because uh, obviously the NBA has always done Christmas Christmas Day games. Um, mm-hmm. This is once a... Once every, whatever, six, seven, eight years, the NFL plays on Christmas. Um, so we got uh, 1 p.m. We got the Raiders traveling to the Chiefs. Chiefs are 10-point favorites. It's a big spread. It is a big spread. But I'm going to take I'm gonna take the Chiefs, but it's a big spread. It is, yeah. If, if I was a betting man, if I hadn't already picked my done my money pick, I might have picked the Raiders to cover. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll pick the Chiefs. Although, Raiders are 1-5 on the road. I, I kind of want to pick against the Chiefs, but. I tell you what. They'd be on that division. That that second game is also a game where I would pick, uh, I'd pick the cover there. Yeah, I can see that. Um, Giant, yeah. So we'll go right to that one. Uh, Giants traveling to the Eagles. Um, Eagles are five and one at home. I don't want. I would love to see. I know. I would I love know. a four game losing streak. Yeah. And you know what? Hurts has has been. You know. It's, Made some comments in the, yeah. in the presser and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I think that maybe it riles them up. The Giants are just not good, but like, and Philly's at home. Yeah, I take Philly, but and they're still man. Playing. I'd love to I see know. them fucking lose. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the uh, same. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Um, I want them to, but I don't. I don't think they will. Um, Devito's he's still a free, you know, third string, fourth string quarterback, sign off the street. So we'll yeah. see what happens. Um, although Hurts, you know, his numbers aren't, if he didn't have all those rushing touchdowns, like I said, his numbers would be pedestrian. Um, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. With a, a lot of picks. Yep. And then next, um, we have the, actually one thing I didn't talk about last week is that the Patriots got <laughs> flexed out of Monday Night Football and they actually had a pretty decent game on Monday. So that worked out that, pretty well. That's true. Uh, then here we have the potential Super Bowl preview. I think so. Yeah. We got the, uh, number one seed in the AFC. Um, traveling to the number one seed in the NFC. I don't know. I don't know the last time this has happened this late in the season. Uh, Eight fifteen p.m. ABC and ESPN Plus, so you can stream it. Uh, we got the Baltimore Ravens, who are six and one on the road, mm. traveling to the Fort Niners, who are five and one at home. Wow, oh, man, I I I, I really no. like this game. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch. It's Christmas it's tough because it's Christmas night, but yeah. I want to watch. Um, that Ravens defense flies. But that Patriots offense, Patriots, I wish. Yeah, the Patriots 49ers offense, offense yeah. uh, also flies. and But the Ravens didn't really impress me too much against the Jags last week. So That's fair. I kind of want, I'm going to, I probably got to go with the 49ers. I am too because un, unless, until they, they really, uh, they went on that little streak midway through or early yeah. to midway through. Right, midway, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you got everybody healthy. I, I think the, I mean, the Niners are the team to beat. Yeah, I mean, like the, the 49ers have been, just like winning, I'm looking at the. I'm looking at it right now. The Four Niners had that. The the yeah. So they lost, lost, lost three in a row. The Debo games. Mm-hmm. Every win of theirs this year has been by more than one score, except for their thirty to twenty three win against the Rams. And that was what was it? Week what six through uh, nine? One, two. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, was this preseason? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that, right and, and now they're riding a six-game win yeah. streak. So they won. So look, here we go. Thirty to seven. Uh, and the one game they didn't win by double digits or two scores was twenty to twenty. Thirty to twenty-three. Thirty to twelve. Thirty-five, sixteen. Forty-two, ten. Three losses. Thirty-four, three. Twenty-seven, fourteen. 
31 13, 42 19, 28 16, 45 29. They, they literally every game but one. Yeah. Um, and a couple losses. Uh, when like that's when you want to have your dip is middle of the season or early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't sure. want to have it late like the Eagles. Sure. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with the 49ers. Um, well, let me do a quick search because the Ravens, we've talked about this, they've been under the radar, I feel like, all year long, and they might feel a little disrespected, but they're also traveling. Um, they're just this is a matchup that I think people would would take the Niners without disrespecting the Ravens. I mm-hmm. think that they people would naturally yeah. take yeah. but I could if they if the Ravens won, I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, see exactly. Yeah. Like they they destroyed the Texans 25 9. They lost they beat beat the Bengals by three, lost to the Colts in overtime, destroyed mm-hmm. the Browns, lost to the Steelers, which was a weird one, beat the Titans by eight. Um, destroyed the Lions. Divisional was, game. Yeah, right? best. Yeah, beat the Cardinals by seven. Destroyed the Seahawks. And yeah, it's, yeah. It's, they're a little bit more back and forth. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with the Four ers and call it a day. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So what you we were just talking about. I, I want to look at this real quick. Um, <clears throat> is there a team? And I don't think it. I don't think so. No, there is. The Forty Nine ers are the only team that is undefeated in their division. They do have to play the Rams again oh, at the yeah. end. Yeah, that's hard to do. But again, y- yeah, you look at it like not every team is going to be like sweeping their division necessarily. Yeah, and the Patriots all those years with all that success only did it once or twice, I think. I mean, like, you guys had fun. Well, look at this now. Like, you look at the, the Chiefs now. All of a sudden, their divi- Mahomes yeah. showed. Now all of a sudden, that division's bad. No, it's just Mahomes showed up and started kicking all their dicks in. Like that's the what? difference. What the AFC West. They're not, that's not a good division. But that's what I'm saying. They were always com- like that division was always very competitive. All of a sudden, Mahomes shows up and the Chiefs win every. Well, single yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm just saying it's not a coincidence that all of a well, sudden the, the division is bad. I'm just saying, but I mean, you're, the AFC East was pretty bad during that run. The, the Mahomes run. No, like your run. Oh, well, that's an off-season topic. I'm that, just saying they, it was. It's because the Patriots bad. beat them all the time and just yeah, uh, just annihilated. But like, but the AFC East, even if you remove the Patriots during that time, had a winning record against the rest of the league. So it's like they were still pretty okay. How many times did they make the playoffs? I don't have to go look at the numbers. That's what I'm saying. Like because the Patriots beat them, but they still didn't the get. They, they couldn't even get a wild card spot, and they had to restart. Talk, they had to restart like every like the two, Jets, the Jets twice, I think. And and Miami in the wild game. Miami won yeah. when Brady got hurt. Well, what a surprise! Brady got hurt, and all of a sudden, another one of the teams won the division. But they never got shot. Like, wait a second, that's such a oh, we, we can't. It's now. so true. But that was a fluke year that they went eleven and five because they did the Wildcat year. Yeah, but the Patriots. But and then they Brady, then they also picked Brady up. Was a, Brady hurt his knee in week one. So you still went eleven and five. Yeah, because the team. Did you see what the, the, the they had Moss on that freaking team? I know, but my they were, point is like when well, you say like they missed the playoffs and then of course another team made it. It's like it wasn't like Miami was competitive the whole time either. I mean, they were barely just, competitive. All I'm saying is now all of a sudden the AFC West this Chiefs division because you have a dominant team yeah, in that. Yes, exactly. that division wasn't isn't it's not, good. It's not like a coincidence that all yes. of a sudden they've all lost the ability to play football. No. Once Mahomes Nobody, showed who's up, saying that? Nobody's saying that. I'm just saying that. I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's this. It's very similar to how the AFC East was all terrible for 20 years. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, the AFC West is terrible for seven years. No, it's just because they're getting beat up and they have to restart like every two freaking years. There's a there's a dominant team in that yeah. division, and 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 it causes other teams to restart. All of a sudden, Brady, Brady retires. Oh. All of a sudden, Josh Allen is amazing. All of a sudden, two is great with Mike McDaniel. No, it's because they can never get their wheels spinning because they always got their dicks kicked in. So, more to come on that one. <laughs> because it's all shenanigans, and maybe J.P. Lossman could have been amazing, but Brady just oh, kicked, oh, kicked his butt God, all the time. Dude. Listen, but that's only two weeks. That's only two games. It is, but it still doesn't help. You, you, no, you, it doesn't you, help, you, but it's like... The you, season starts, you have like no shot at the division because you know that they're just going to beat everyone else. Because the Patriots you, had a better win ranking against other divisions. More right, but, I mean, you should... As, again, that's why they have wild cards. Although I will say the third wild card spot... That is, is true. That's, that's a new, new thing. That is newer. But it, still, mm. they've had... There's always two... There was always two wild cards. Always two. And they're like rarely fucking and it's like also it. like Manning was... Who were his teams? He had an expansion team in the Texans. The Jaguars were always the laughing stock. Yeah. And the Titans who were good for like two years, maybe. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, look that's at no we'll different. Cr- that's no different either. It, we'll it just numbers. it highlights it more because New England won more. So I always look at their division like, well, they got four, five wins mm. because their division wasn't. Mm. I mostly good. want the Cowboys to win the division so that the a- NFC <laughs> continues to not have a repeat winner. That, that would funny. be that would be funny. I do enjoy. That. I think it's been like twenty. It's been a twenty while, years. Yeah. yeah. 
I think since the early, the McNabb T.O. days. Oh, yeah. Of Philly. That's right. But anyway, that is week 16. I think we're planning on, on doing Tuesday because Tuesday, Monday's day. Christmas. Right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So we'll be, we'll be up on Tuesday. This will be up next Wednesday. This one will be up. Tomorrow, tomorrow, which is Thursday. Thursday, we're all off. Yeah, but the holidays are tough. Things right. are going on. People are getting sick and whatnot. So, yep. uh, New Year's all. Hol- yeah, we got holidays, Christmas, New Year's. So we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program. Just the fact that we've done this X amount of weeks in a row, pretty impressive. I know we've we've made it work so far. So this yeah. is uh, yeah, we're already doing picks for week sixteen. So like, comment, share, subscribe, share, subscribe, like, Merry comment, Christmas. Merry Christmas, um, Boo Cowboys, Go Patriots, Boo. <laughs>